Hello and welcome. This video is an introduction to modeling markets and is the first in a series on that subject. What is market modeling? Market modeling is used in statistics to determine the odds of what price will do in the future. Market modeling does not predict where the price will go, rather it determines the probability or odds of where the price will go. Market modeling is used many ways. One way that market modeling is used is in the pricing of options and other derivatives. For instance, the price of a call option is based on the probability that the price of the underlying stock will rise up to or above the strike price of the option. Market modeling is also used for hedging against risk, future price extrapolations such as Monte Carlo extrapolations, and financial risk management such as value at risk calculations to determine worst loss case scenarios based on a level of confidence within a certain time frame. There is more than one way to model markets, but most modeling strategies follow similar steps. To model an asset, we first calculate out the periodic returns for that asset. The periodic daily return is the percent that the stock increases or decreases each day using continuous compounding. For instance, if we are modeling the future price of a stock, we first calculate out the periodic daily return for that stock over a certain length of time such as one year or the entire life of the stock. We use the periodic daily return to calculate out an expected path of price and a probability range spread or distribution around that expected path of price. The expected path of price is the path that has the greatest odds of occurring. There is more than one method for calculating out the expected path of price. However, one method is to simply use the average of the periodic daily returns. The average of the periodic daily returns is the percent of change for price that occurred the most in the past, so it is logical to assume in the future that it will be the percent of change that occurs the most as well. Other methods for determining the expected path of price include taking volatility into consideration, taking the time value of money into consideration, and taking interest rates into consideration. We then use the periodic daily return to create a probability or odds range spread or distribution around the expected path of price. The two main ways of doing this is to simply use the historic periodic daily returns to create a histogram, or to use the periodic daily returns along with some other tools and assumptions to create a continuous distribution such as a normal distribution bell graph. In the next videos in this series, we will look at the periodic daily return, standard deviation, and probability distributions. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.